alcohol and speeding contributing factors to the deadly number 50 village quarantine accident. In the city, four-year-old killed on the spot in the Sheriff Street accident, mother hospitalized. And tale of the tape, truckers at the Chelly Jagan International Airport expansion complain about exploitation and delay in payment. The news with Ivor Wharton begins now. A good night and thanks for joining us for another edition of News in Death. We begin this evening by telling you of that deadly number 50 accident which left two persons dead and three injured. Family members of the dead number 50 village accident victims are trying to come to terms with their certain demise. This was after Ramesh Prampat and Richard Ramnarain, both of number 46 village, perished when a car they were traveling in slammed into a horse, then crashed into a culvert and toppled into a nearby trench. Five persons were in the car at the time of the accident and three of them were injured. They were rescued by public spirited citizens and rushed to the Skeldon Hospital. The police believed that the car was speeding at the time of the accident. To compound matters, sources told this newscast that the men were all under the influence. Avinash Gangaram, called Rex of No. 47 Village, was one of the survivors. He was in the front seat of the car at the time of the accident. He recalled being conscious throughout the entire accident. He sustained injuries to his right arm and has been discharged from the New Amsterdam Hospital. Well, I was in a lady shop a drink there. Mm -hmm. And then they left drop me home. Mm -hmm. I mean, they were really going to drink or something. Mm -hmm. And then just passed. Then passed with me. Mm -hmm. And go up so. Like about how fast? You can't really remember. Like, you give an average. How the fast do you think you were going? Over 100, 120. It's like 100, like. For Ramesh Prampat's mother, Jennifer Pramal, this would be an unforgettable birthday gift. She said her son's wife and children are overseas. Let me go pick up my brother and everything. So I'm going to see two persons lie down there. So one person tell me that my son cover up my And I will miss you, miss you when I hide something. I'm going to see you when I hide Mahindra Prakash and Rameshwar Mangal sustained head injuries. They were treated at the New Amsterdam Hospital and discharged on Monday. We will return with more news after this break. Extra beer is the beer to drink. Grab one no, no. Grab one no. Drink extra beer and come to your senses. Enjoy a great extra Pilsner beer, now available in regular and light. Taste real smooth with no hangover. It's the perfect beer, according to Drinker's Review. Me drink beer in a real life. Distributed by the wholesale distributors in the stockbroke market. Telephone 683-9500. Extra beer is also found in supermarkets and stores nationwide. It's the perfect beer. Hey, looky there. Let me go to techy boots. Boots? No, mama, I ain't gonna get a lack of teeth in a big stinky, dirty second boots. Plus, it can be more cheaper online. And then got my favorite color, pink. Let me go on. Online shopping. Cheaper, faster, better. Pass back. Thanks for staying with us. More tragic news to report. A four-year-old was killed on the spot after she was flung from a car on Sheriff Street. A father's pain and the hurt and anger of Sheriff and Garnet Street's residents were visible following the accident that killed four-year-old Ambika Providence and injured her mother on Sheriff Street Saturday night. The accident involved a white Toyota Tacoma PRR 3500 and a motor car. There are conflicting reports about how the collision occurred. Some residents say that the Tacoma jumped at the traffic light and crashed into the car, while others are saying that the car came out of the nearby Royal Castle without stopping. On the scene Saturday night, people were visibly upset with the way the child met her demise and blamed the driver of the Tacoma for speeding. Residents said the car toppled and the child was flung through the window. He was walking going from the shop. The big man was coming across the road. You see me? The big man, right now the big man talking with the police. I walk and I see. I walk, before I meet the child, he all is, oh, blam. When I look back, I see a car spinning behind me, a little girl flick out. How do you go yes, I, me. I run and I hear the big man. The, the girl mother's on the ground. All I could do was put the girl mother in a car. This is all I could say for the girl. But this little girl can get justice, but you see, because I feel it here, because a father. Providence was with her mother and another relative who was said to be the driver. He sustained minor injuries and was assisting the police with their investigations. 
I sell swaggerific. Spaniard, me like staggerific. I Spaniard. Drink a spaniard. When the star give me a hand, now the whole place. Turn up, turn up, turn up, turn up, turn up, turn up, stack up. Turn up, turn up, turn up, turn up, turn up, stack up. Turn up, turn up, turn up, turn up, turn up. Stag in a me hands now. Hand up, hand up, hand up, hand up, stack up. Hand up, hand up, hand up, stack up. Hand up, hand up, stack up, stack up. Tell them no. I don't business if you're not on time. You must always have stag in the line. Well, everybody have a stag in the hand. Where's my stag man's beer? Attitude. Give me attitude. Next. Action. Guys, where's the ice cream? Cut, cut! Mmm. In four delectable flavors, the new Super Premium Royal Ripple Ice Cream is smooth, unbelievably rich, and far more affordable than you think. Royal Ripple Super Premium from Sterling Products Limited. Extra energy, drink a number one. Multiply your energy to the drink one. Extra energy, drink, extra energy, drink. Extra energy has a better taste, less caffeine, less sugar, and is enriched with vitamins B6 and B12. Extra energy, drink me one thing. Give me the energy night I'm running. Extra energy, drink, extra energy, drink. Visit the wholesale distributor in the Stabbrook Market or call 683-9500 to order yours today. Extra Energy Drink is also found in supermarkets and stores nationwide. Exploitation and delays in payment have truck drivers working on the expansion of the Trinidad Jackson International Airport counting their losses. It is not an easy road for contractors and truck drivers contracted by China Harbor, the company contracted to do the airport expansion. While the work is moving apace, the truckers said the road is damaging their vehicles. They are underpaid and exploited. Now, most of the contractors we spoke to said that in the contract signed with China Harbor, it stipulates that they would be paid 14 days after the 21st of every month, a stipulation that was never honored by China Harbor. This is creating hardship on the contractors who spoke about having to pay staff on installments of trucks they are saying they have taken on higher purchase to fulfill their end of the agreement. Another sore issue for the truckers is that they are traversing more distance to the sand pit and the condition of the roads are deplorable. Now that is because the truckers use more fuel but the company is still paying the same price. The trucker spoke of instances where trucks that are capable of carrying a 30 ton load ended up carrying a ton short. They are not paid for the short load, but instead the Chinese company takes the short load for free. When we visited the location, a number of trucks were down and the mechanics were busy trying to get them up and running. And what will contribute to them thing happening? Slavery walk. The truck walk into hard in the sun, dead sun. And when you gotta go the back to the Chinese, they want to direct your way for going dump, they ain't got no dozer. The truckers are calling on the Chinese company to honor their end of the agreement and improve the working conditions. And that's a wrap for this edition of News in Depth. Do join us again tomorrow for another edition.